Like money music, it's been a long time in the making. Like, you know, what's been the hold up with that? Um, it really seemed like it take that long. It was only like two years, but it really wasn't the music. It was just putting it together and getting it out. So the business take a little longer than everything else. Okay, and you're you're gonna be rolling with Who Banging Records, right? Well, I'm signing Who Banging Cash Money Records. Like I'm signing Cash Money Records on a joint venture with Max. So this joint right here is just really one of the first of the new Who Banging that's coming out. You had a deal already prior to signing with Who Banging, correct? Yeah, well, I've been signed with Cash Money the whole time as well. But I mean, before that, I was signed to Sony. So what was the connection with Who Banging? Why'd you get linked up with Mac Ten? Oh, he's from here, and I mean, when I first, he just wasn't like. Baby and them liked the idea of having somebody on the West Coast, too, that was getting crackers. So, Mac-10 was really one of the first people that came to me, and I just, it's legendary Mac-10, so I just rock with him. Mm -hmm. And I liked the idea of being with him and Cash Money. It just was like a dope idea. And are you guys planning on doing more projects together, kind of as a, a duo or, you know, separately? Yeah, yeah, we definitely going to do more projects together. I mean, this is like really the first one. He want to do more and stuff, so, I mean, I, I had so much fun, I wouldn't mind doing it again. And what can we expect to hear on this project? Uh, a lot of street talk. I mean, real flagrant street talk. A lot of balling, a lot of hustling. I mean, that's pretty much, I wanted to make sure that we use what we had in common to uh, make good music. So we have a, a real hustling background, a gang banging background, and the balling background. So we stuck to what we know best. Last time I talked to you was a while ago, I think maybe at the beginning of the summer, you talked about, you know, your search to find that elusive hit. And you said that you, you know, you thought you had it when I get dough. How, how do you feel about how that single turned out? Um, I think it underperformed for me. But, I mean, I can't lie. Like, it got me a lot more fans. I realized when I was on the Tech 9 tour, it, it was a bigger record than radio could have ever made it. So, I guess you lose in some ways and win in others. What's going to be like your individual focus for 2011 here on out? Is it still going to be trying to get another radio hit or are you just focus on this project with Mac or what? Just making music. I mean, naturally I just want to make great music. I mean, and however it comes about is how it comes about. I'm glad this project is coming out April 12th. You know, Money Music, Mac and Malone. But um, I just want to make more great music and I want to release more great music. So that's my focus right now, just making great music and releasing it. And I, the hit probably will come to me, I would imagine, just as it did before. Okay, and that's going to be your focus from, like, overall from here on out, right? Making a lot of money. Just making a lot of money. Like, as long as I make a lot of money and make some dope music, I'm in the game. Okay, and are there going to be any surprises on this upcoming project? Any, like, surprise is guests? Is it all you and Mac or what? I mean, there's a couple other people, but I mean, I don't work with probably some of the biggest artists in the world at this point, so I don't think there's any surprises. Like, the only surprise would be Prince and, you know, everybody else, I think. I don't think nobody would be surprised if Old Glasses got a song with this person. So between the both of us, we probably didn't work with just about everybody. As far as the video goes today, like, what was the, the idea and the thought behind the video, the vision? <laughs> <laughs> song is called Dear DEA, you know, it's like a message to drug enforcement agency, you know, like we both got real serious, me, Mac-10, uh, Richie Rich, legendary Bay Area rapper Richie Rich, we have a, uh, we have a, uh, all have drug dealing past and we have problems with the law over selling drugs, so, you know, we all constantly believe the DEA is still watching, so I feel like most of us is out on the street, so they kind of mad that they didn't get us, so. This is just like a message to them, like, I understand you mad, but just let it go, because I ain't probably not going to get me at this point. Check this out, man. It's your boy, GLA, double dollar sign, east side. You already know, man. G motherfucking Malone, Cash Money Records, very young, who bang in the house. You already know. HipHopWire.com, man. Don't slick.